Hello, Cobrats, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. I'm Tracklight Tamer. Once you enter the store, you'll be facing one of the Elite Four. You whore. Whoa, jeez, that's not nice. They're really tough. You can exit once you enter. Are you ready? Be courageous and go for it. Alright, let's do this. Here we go. Our first one is this guy. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Will. I have trained all around the world, making my Psychic-type Pokemon powerful. And at last, I've been accepted into the Elite Four. I can only keep getting better. Losing is not an option. I did some good off-screen training for this one. So, yeah, we're going to have a little bit of fun throughout the Elite Four, mostly. Some of them can give me problems without my expectations, and I'm not going to be one of those guys that does only one Elite Four member per episode. I'm not going to point any fingers, but it's kind of, uh, enrages me when that happens. So, yeah, just like Elite Green... This is going to be a 20-ish minute video of flinching and me firsting. Zatu has a cat-like pattern on its belly. It looks like the cat has like a long beard. It's like a Duck Dynasty cat or something. I don't know. I don't know, Jack. Whoa, my <laughs> audio is like really spiked up on the um, Audacity audio laptop. Which hopefully my brother will get me a new computer or point me in the direction of a new computer when it comes, because, uh, he can be here between the August 8th and 22nd, it's, uh, July 18th I'm recording this, and by the time I finish this particular episode, it'll be just about midnight, because <laughs> it's 11.37 right now. Alright, Slowbro, I opened up, uh, with Fan Attack because the Wood Hammer wouldn't totally take it down, because, yes, Wood Hammer and stuff, and oh, 4 HP, and it didn't get confused, all good, just perfect. Yeah. Uh, it can use Curse Attack, which for non-Ghost types, it'll lower speed and raise attack and defense, so that's part of my reason for using uh, Fan Attack as well. So level 49, and I'm gonna learn Wood or Hammer Arm. How do you learned Wood Hammer? So yeah, uh, Uncle Tree's final moveset will be Strength, Hammer Arm, Rock Slide, and Wood Hammer. So, bye-bye Fan Attack, you were good while you lasted, but now let's have a little bit of help with Hammer Arm. Jinx is up next. So, with that one, I'm going to be switching into Charlie. The reason I have Hammer Arm, although, like, it, like it's for pretty much Dark types, I guess. There is a particular Dark type Pokemon I'll be using it on throughout here. And, yeah, stuff like that. And things that uh, Rock type wouldn't be so good against. So, this change can be a problem with its lovely kiss and a decent special attack stat to knock you down with its psychic move. But, yeah, one flamethrower from Charlie will take her down. To funky town. <laughs> I can imagine a Jinx like slowly walking around and dancing to it, being all creepy like. So I could keep Charlie out for Executor, but let's uh kind of kill it. Yeah. More than brutally moitalize it. I'm gonna send out Slice and Dice because she off screen has learned the almighty move, if I can actually use it. X scissor. It's quad weak to it and stab. Uh, so good. But yeah, uh, I'm eventually going to teach, uh, oh, critical, I'm going to eventually teach Slice and Dice a Bug Bite because it's going to be, actually become more powerful with the Technician ability, so yeah. So Zatu is up next, and Uncle Tree is kind of hanging on right there. And Dimshack probably won't be seeing too much action, so I'll send her out. I look at Abra's my lowest level Pokemon, but he's going to have his time to shine eventually. <laughs> You'll see when his time to shine is. Alright, Zatu, how about a good old discharge to the face? Zatu was a relatively fast book one, but oh well, must be a special attack. And I always want to say a Pokemon's HP is good, but not. Zatu doesn't really look like uh, a Pokemon whose HP would be good, so Elite Four will. I can't believe it. Alright, I'm actually getting back money because I've actually done part of my off screen training by battling these guys and losing. It's training a couple particular members, Uncle Tree and a certain uh, replacement to help her that we won't be seeing for a minute. Fuha! <laughs> I'm Koga the Elite Four. Eleven Shadows, a ninja. My intricate style will confound and destroy you. Confusion, sleep, and poison. Prepare to be the victim of my sinister techniques. Fuha! <laughs> Pokemon not merely about brute force. You shall see soon enough. Come on, dude. You could have used your laugh as your battle opener. Everybody seems to have a laugh. Wills would probably be <laughs> And then, uh, Koga's this flahaha. But yeah, 
Koga's a familiar face returning from, well, Kanto. This is the same, uh, Pokemon League. Oh, heh. <laughs> I kind of made a stupid move bringing Uncle Tree out first. I was planning on putting out Charlie out first because uh, this uh, Ariados knows Giga Drain, but apparently I'm outspeeding it and got kind of lucky with it. Well, he does have a Crobat that he could use in Fortress. Let's kind of kill its face off by making it become a chestnut roasting on a open fire. But yeah, he does have a Crobat which uh, I could use Uncle Tree for, at least attempt to. Uh, it could re resist most of, most of its moves. Of course, the main type here is poison, so, uh, well, poison would just do normal damage to Uncle Tree, but Crobat would have fly. It does no fly, I'm pretty sure, at least that or the rematch is later on. Spoilers, you rematched the Elite Four, holy crap. So up next is Muck. Uh, Charlie can take it down. Actually, you know what I'll do? I'm going to power stuff up with Sunday. Kaboomity. I could use Earthquake, but with all this power I could be getting from Flamethrower. I'm not going to really risk it, plus uh, Muck has good regular defense, I do know that. I remember like, uh, I had a Grimer, it was like level 19, but it still had like 13 attack, and I was like, dang, this thing's terrible. But, if you raise it the proper way, it can be a good Muck. Again, there's no real such thing as bad Pokemon. People, you can come up with... Are you, are you serious? People come up with smart ideas for Pokemon. Why does this always happen to me? Seriously. This, this is like the... At least the tenth time, maybe, that this happened to me throughout the course of playing this game. Pokemon hangs on with literally one HP. What the... Fell. What the fell? <laughs> what the Dr. Phil? Oh boy. So, you're going to Fall Restore, I'm going to Headbutt, then I'm going to Flamethrow... Dude, no. You can't do... You can't be doing this. You know what? I'll give you an Earthquake, because you're having a little... Oh yeah, the reason everything's missing is because it's using minimalize or min minimizer. <laughs> and more to minimalize your attributes and toxic is kind of a minimalizing thing as well. It can kill in eight turns as long as the Pokemon's still out on screen. Okay, gun shot. Uh, that's gonna bring me down to blaze if I don't get killed, especially by poison. Okay, I got killed. The poison would kill me anyway. So we're actually in quite a predicament here. <laughs> okay. So, you know what, Al Cadaver, you can go out. Uh, he is my lowest level Pokemon, so I might as well get some levels on him. So, Psychic, you're dead, bye. Good day, Muck. You have died. And it is all over. Kaboom, you're done. It's one of my favorite Pokemon cries ever, it's just so fun to imitate. Muck always reminds me of the character from Ball the Builder, by the same name, Trick. Uh, I think that involves like switching around items, but uh, I'm more for power here. Crobat, that would be the speed flyer kind of thing, and physical moves are problematic. So, Dimshack, you are coming back out. Dimshack's not really going to be seeing action, very much action, as I said. So, I'm going to give her as much spotlightism as I can. I like all these Pokemon's cries, oh boy. Uh, yeah, have good reason for carrying Dimshack with me. I'm definitely gonna heal up after this battle. We're halfway through, and they're not gonna get any easier. Well, the next one's gonna be kind of easy. <laughs> Malakadabra, yes. Alright, we'll just charge. Take it down. Alright, you're paralyzed, but I doubt you're gonna stay all good. Okay, yeah, the Citrus Berry, so... Uh, yeah, that's not full store range, so... <laughs> Sometimes it helps you out. And how to miss... Okay... I know, you use double team, but... Okay, maybe I have 75% accuracy. Something about the number 75 is like three-fourths of 100. How long have I been recording? Nine minutes-ish, yeah. Because I was like, doing a natural voice tune up like... Mm -hmm, I listen to pentatonics. And I'm gonna send out Uncle Tree. And I will use Brotsight on his face. And I will kill you hard on... Um, okay, I'm just gonna shut up. What Pokemon left? <laughs> I've been counting on this one from the very beginning and... Rock side, eat it. Yeah, I had a feeling it would outspeed me. Eh, I don't know. Uncle Tree was just there to die. Okay, I'm gonna heal off screen. Alright, what to do here? Eh, yeah, Alcadabra, you need it. Let's do this! Have fun, Alcadabra. He's taking it down with a simple psychic. Uh, will it be nullified? Okay, it's just super effective. Bug is super effective on Psychic, but 
Psychic is just a normal odd bug. Okay. So, Koga's down now. 12, 12 EXP. Koga. Ah, you're proven your ass. Oh, Chichong. I, I went from a ninja to even more Asian ninja. It's like the sudden, subtle Asian voice. Heal up time. Actually, for this particular battle, I'm not going to switch out. Well, I, I'm actually am going to switch out. I'm just not going to heal up uh, those who have fainted yet. I'm Bruno of the Elite Four. I always train to the extreme because I believe in our potential. That's how we become strong. Can you withstand our power? Hm. I see no fear in you. You look determined. Perfect for battle. Ready, T2? You'll bow down to our overwhelming power. hoo And you know how to use your uh, battle laugh as a battle opener. And I'm kind of drooping down. And an Indian to fly. He's sitting Indian style, sort of. He's just nice. Like his just legs are crossed. Hitmontop. Oh, good Abra. <laughs> bye bye, Hitmontop. Uh, this thing has the technician ability. It could do 60 instead of 40 damage with quick attack. So yeah, the Hitmontop is down. Uh, I was, I'm going to be using Calm Mind throughout the battle, but he's going to send out Onyx next. So of course I'm going to be switching to. Uh, Dim Shack, I almost said Slice and Dice. Hey, I'm actually uh, remembering Slice and Dice's name more often. Actually, it's probably the one I use the most because it's probably my favorite of the nicknames. Because, I don't know, it's so fun to say Slice and Dice because I call it the Slice and Dice. And there was like a bunch of uh, SpongeBob references in one battle. I was using Slice and Dice from SpongeBob, and the guy was named Eugene in the ad. He was a sailor, and he had a Krabby. <laughs> so yeah, Spongebob, yay! And of course, I kind of gave him the voice. Ick, bick, 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 bick. <laughs> That's so fun. Spongebob's always good for anyone. I don't even need to use Calm Mind, really. I'm just going to do it to increase my sweeping abilities and have extra special defense, but how good that would be with uh, all these physical users. And please do not let this be bad. It was bad, but not bad enough. Alright, you're going down, you're putting up a good battle, a lot champ, this is, is basically his ace player, but Onyx is like his, uh, I don't know, sentimental Pokemon, I guess, is one that kind of has the value in the anime, because of course he uses it. This Hitmonlee is the kick of Pokemon, so yeah, he's got Blaze kicking stuff like that. That move didn't exist until Generation 3! Well, this is Generation 4, so he has viable reasons, so... His moveset must have sucked back in Generation 2 or something. Well, not bad, but made better with Blaze Kick to take down all the things. The Hitmon Chan has the Iron Fist ability, and it knows all punching moves. Iron Fist increases the power of punching moves, and I would expect him to use Bullet Punch. Yes, he does. <laughs> 2 HP left, I don't see why he wouldn't. Unless I were to outspeed him somehow. Like, if Psychic was a quick attack. That would just be completely overpowered. Hmm, what shall I do to here? Them Shack still needs to live, and it's not a good idea since it has a uh, fire punch and it wouldn't be good for slice and dice. So, reasons, reasons. Surf, let's see how much it does. Bring it down to just less than half, alright. Haha, <laughs> Thunder Punch is gonna heal me, thank you very much, I don't need to use any potions, but knowing luck, it's gonna be brought down to 1 HP. And a painted. Thank you very much. I don't want to drag this any, any longer than it needs to be. Alright, that was actually a pretty well rounded battle right there. An aqua ring. Nah. Nah, nah. It would be good, but I carry uh, the, 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 the Volzo ability. Why? How could we lose? Yay, money! I, I get like a nugget per battle. Yeah! Go face your next challenge. And he doesn't hide his face in shame or turn his body around. Alright, this next battle could go literally anywhere and all over the place because we're battling a girl. I am Kieran in the Elite Four, your T2. How amusing. I love dark type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Now that's just straight up right there. And I imagine her laugh would be heh heh heh. Uh, kind of like Will's, but Will's would probably be a little bit more maniacal and more of the manly maniacal kind of thing. So it's just a dark type user, so I'm going to be using Slice and Dice. Let's see how much an X Scissor does. I want to do a uh, similar to last battle kind of strategy to where I do sweeping, and is this a critical? No, let's just stay normal. <laughs> so you're going to use double team, alright. I suspect it as such a mundo. And I wouldn't put it past you if you didn't use a full restore here, because 
She has other good Pokémon. Particularly, definitely the one she's going to use next, because Slice and Dice is quad weak to it. Hmm. Dark type, and the only thing that would be quad weak to is Fire. I'm sure you know what it is. It's obviously Hound Dower with an Evil Light, but no Evil Light doesn't exist, so likewise it shall be a Hound Doom. I like using the word likewise, because likewise is a fun word to use. Hound Doom, so. My counter accent to that is not going to be Dimshack, but Uncle Tree because Hammer Arm and Sheer Attack. Alright, let's see how this goes. Hammer Arm has uh, <laughs> like 120 power, I believe, and it would uh, would it do a recoil? I think it does require or does recoil, but uh, I have the what's it called the Rockhead ability. I thought I had Sturdy ability, but I don't know. Some things must happen. So yeah, if it gets the Nasty Plot up. It can definitely tear some stuff up. I think even without a nasty plot, I was practicing and it did almost all damage to Dim Shack, not even a critical. So it's powerful. Okay. Uncle Tree, you did your part for this battle. Mostly there's gonna be another Pokemon I plan to use you on, I believe. Depending on when she decides to go for it. Alright, Vile Plume. Alright. How about a flamethrower? Good enough to take you down and turn you into ashes. Then plant a flower on your grain. Uh, let me just turn the audio off for a minute to make sure it's not messing up. Uh, uh, it's all silent and stuff. Oh, I thought it, I thought it crinkle cracked. No, that's just because I'm turning it back up. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, Vile Plume went down easily. Up next is Gengar. So, uh, Alcadabra because Shadow Ball, and it knows uh, Focus Blast. So, cut it, it'll do. It would do neutral damage to Slice and Dice. And I believe I it would barely outspeed this thing, so Shadow Ball, eat it, yeah. And this should take you to just the right amount of HP to where things aren't good. But oh well, my special defense, and I'm not. I I resist it, so not really the smartest move on your part there, Karen. Uh, how about a psychic? Okay, <laughs> you're not gonna use another four store, yeah. I, I would assume she'd save it for the Pokemon she has for last. Watch watch her last Pokemon be the specific Pokemon I'm thinking about. Let's see what it is. Is it? Is it? Is it? It is Murkrow. Yeah, would that would be the Pokemon. It is not a Huntcrow yet because, of course, we're still in the Johto. But yeah, it evolves into Huntcrow with a with a uh, Dusk Stone. And wow, I only used Slice and Dice for one Pokemon. I was planning to sweep through, but then I realized. Uh, the only Pokemon that's actually good against this Umbreon, and then again, Umbreon has good defense. So, okay, for a second I thought I heard it go, uh, dum dum. But no. Critical hit, yeah. Murkrow's not the greatest Pokemon. Its main thing is to use Whirlwind on you. And it also uses Pluck, so that could be devastating. If you let it be devastating. Then again, you can't decide the course of a Pokemon battle. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. Alright, we're done with the Elite Four. But. Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that's only the selfish perception of people. S truly skilled trainers should try to win with Pokemon they love best. I like your style, you understand what's important. Go on, the champion is waiting. Until next time, on Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold, where we take on the champion, do not toast yourself.